Today we're gonna learn how to make the cutest simple zipper bag ever. It's great for notions for retreats or cosmetics or anything, you know, anything when you're traveling on an airplane, it's great. And Sherry McConnell designed this for us. It's, it's a great pattern. You can actually make two of these simple zippers bags with one mini charm pack. And so today she's gonna show us how you make the larger version and the smaller version is super easy. You just take one row off. So if you know how to make the large, you're definitely gonna know how to make the small. So let's jump right in. Sherry, what do we need to make this bag? Okay, it's really easy. Well, you'll just need a mini Moda charm pack. You'll need a fat quarter for your lining, a fat quarter for the backing fabric, a quarter yard for the binding fabric, and then just a little scrap for the top strip and for the inner facing. You will need a 12 inch or longer zipper. I love the Purse Parts handbag zippers by Annie. And then also for the inner facing, we're gonna use Soft and Stable. So let's get right into making the bag. So to start our bag, we're gonna start with the front of the bag. So tell me what we're gonna do on the front. Okay, so you're gonna take 20 mini charms and you're going to lay them out in a way that is pleasing to you. And we're gonna sew those charms together with a quarter inch seam. And again, I'm going to press all of these seams open. It makes it easier when we quilt it later. Um, and so you've got your whole you know, little quilt top done. Right, and I quilted it with, so with soft and stable. Um, I layered the, the, back, the lining fabric, the soft and stable, and my patchwork top. And you made that just about a quarter inch wider than the top, just so you have a little bit extra around. Right, right, you'll have a little bit extra and we'll trim this down later. And so is soft and stable fusible? It's not, it does have a tendency to pull fabrics toward it, so your fabric will kind of adhere naturally to it while you're working with it. So when you're quilting, you won't have to put pins in? Um, no, you won't have to. What I did do is I did stay stitch all around the edge when I was finished. Um, to keep those seams from coming open. And you, did you, how did you quilt? I just used my quarter inch foot and I went one quarter inch away on either side of every seam. And what stitch length did you use? I used a 3.0 stitch length. Awesome, so let's go to the next step. Okay, the next step is to trim the soft and stable um, extra around the edges. And the best way to do that is to use a ruler line it up with the edges of the fabrics on top, and use your rotary cutter to trim. And you'll want to trim all four sides, and the finished measurement will be eight and a half inches tall by 10 and a half inches wide. And this will give you the finished front piece for your simple zipper bag. Okay, now it's time to attach the zipper to the bag front. We're gonna use a By Annie's handbag zipper, which I love because it's extra wide and it makes it to where you don't need to show to use a zipper foot with your sewing machine. So you're gonna put the zipper face down on your quilted piece with the pull extended over to the side. And we're going to use Clover Wonder Clips to attach this makes it super easy to keep the zipper right where it needs to be. And we're gonna sew with a simple quarter inch seam. Okay, now that we've sewn the zipper to the top of the bag, we're going to actually press it to the other side. And we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna fold it over towards the lining fabric. It's actually gonna enclose that extra soft and stable. So we're going to press it like this. And steam is good. And then I like to press it once on the front, making sure that I keep that zipper the way that I just pressed it. So I'm gonna do one quick press on the front. Do you pin anything at this point? I don't pin anything here yet either, no. Um, we are going to sew again now. We're going to sew this down along the back side and it will, it will keep that down. 
And when you're sewing the zipper, are you back stitching? I am back stitching, yes. Okay, let's go sew. Okay. Okay, the next step is to add the top strip to the top of the zipper. And I've already fused a one and a half inch by 12 and a half piece of Shape Flex interfacing to the back of the one and a half inch by 12 and a half piece of fabric. And then what we're gonna do is just center it over the bag. It's cut a little bit longer so that we have a little bit of wiggle room here. And we're gonna sew this right sides together to the other side of the zipper using a quarter inch seam, just like we did before. Okay, we have finished the top of this zipper strip the same way that we did the bottom. We pressed toward the top strip and we sewed a line of stitching right on the zipper from the back and that keeps it all pressed neatly. The next thing we're going to do is move the zipper pull to the center of the bag. This is really important. And we're going to do a stay stitch along the left side and the right side of the bag. Okay, now you're just going to trim off the extra zipper and top strip, just line the ruler up with the bottom of your simple zipper bag. And Sherry's using our wonderfully cute Fat Quarter Shop ruler. And you'll do that on both sides. Again, always make sure that the zipper pull is in the middle when you're trimming. And now we're going to move to piecing the back. Preparing the back for the zipper bag is super easy. You take your 11 by 11 inch piece of backing fabric, your 11 by 11 inch soft and stable, and your 11 by 11 inch lining fabric, and you make a quilt sandwich with them. I did some crosshatch quilting here, one inch apart. And then after you're done quilting, you trim your piece so that it measures 10 and a half inches wide and 10 inches tall. And you could do your backing with either, you know, a colorful thread to match an accent thread, or we just use white to be simple. So tell me how we're gonna finish off our bag. Okay, we're almost at the end. We're going to take the backing piece and the front piece, and we're going to sandwich them together. You'll make sure that your linings are together. That's your back and that's your front. and. We're going to use Clover Wonder Clips to hold them together. And then we are going to just stitch about an eighth of an inch all the way around the bag. Again, you'll want to make sure that the zipper pull is in the middle. Okay, now we're going to make a cute little zipper pull to make it easier to open and close your zipper bag. Start out with a one inch by 12 inch strip of fabric. I used fabric that matches my, the binding that I'm going to use. You're going to press it in half and, and press both seams to the center. And then you're going to fold it in half again. So we're gonna have a little tiny strip and we're gonna sew about an eighth of an inch from that edge to create a finished pull. Then um, you're going to fold it in half. And another thing about these by any zippers is that the, the ring is a little bit wider. So you can easily get this through there. And you can slip it, pull it through, kind of tie it onto your zipper. And then I like to also tie a little knot at the end to keep it all together. And I think that adds just an extra little punch to the bag. It does. It really it gives a little extra um, touch to it. And then if you want, you can trim these also. But now you've got an, uh, a cute little zipper pull. 
So for Sherry's binding, she's cut two two and a quarter inch by width of fabric strips and joined them together. And we're just gonna add the binding. Now, if you need some tips on binding, follow our link below. Sherry's bag is the larger version that we made on camera. And if you want to make a smaller version, you can just take one row off. I can't wait to see all of your bags. So join Sherry and I on our Simple Zipper Bag Sew Along. Hashtag Simple Zipper Bag. Thanks for watching. Thank you.